Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are readily available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions which are asked in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is was uh, kept in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have also kept segregated all the videos in my channel into different playlists, which is consisting of difficulty uh, categories like easy, medium, and hard, and the premium categories of lead code questions like premium playlist, and all the non-premium and premiums and uh, different categories I have segregated into one single playlist, and then ordered by their sequence number into one playlist. You can go through that to have a nice experience let's see a let's see the question which we are trying to solve right now it is type easy question number 1565 unique orders and customers per month let go let's go to lead code okay they have given this order schema which is consisting of order id order date customer id and invoice okay and order id is the primary key for this table okay there is only one table and what they have said find the unique orders means distinct number of things we want and the number of unique customers okay distinct orders and distinct customers okay means they have order id table and customer id both from both the things they want custom uh, distinct things and the third condition is invoice should be greater than 20 okay per each order that they want okay okay let's see this table and visualize Let's do one thing. First thing they said is the order price should be greater than twenty. Let's filter for that. 30 it is okay 90 it's okay 20 is it, is it uh, okay it should be greater than 20 so this is not valid let's take a bigger thing yeah it is valid this is also not valid because this is 10 15 this is also not valid okay 55 is there 77 is there 31 is the said again 20 it is also not valid right and what they said second condition it should be in this format year and month only date should not be there okay this should not be there 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 this should not now what they asked is for after in uh, segregating for greater than 20 and converting into a new data type of order date we need to count the distinct orders and distinct customer id okay let's see if you see for 2029 there are two orders 2029 two orders and two distinct customer counts got it similarly for 2020 one order is there and similarly one customer count is there and similarly for 2020 uh, which is december there are two rows you can see that 7 comma 8 two different unique things are there but here you can see 4 comma 4 which are not unique they are duplicating them but if you take the dist distinct thing it is only one thing that is why it is showing here one here okay and let's go to the last thing which is 2020 01 you can see that there is only one customer id and one order id for this let's write the code syntax for that okay first what we need to do select order id mm. we want from that to that right we can keep format order date uh, 
we want only years and one more y should be there and only what month 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 let's call it as order date comma customer id comma invoice from orders okay we just want to see it what that if you can see we have converted into the new format great now what we want where invoice greater than 20 yeah spelling mistake okay you can see we have just filtered for that and we have filtered in the new date format now what we need to do is keep this as a subquery table one okay now what we need to do we need to group by the order date the new order date and select order date comma count unique we want so distinct uh, order ID order count Similarly for the last column, count distinct customer ID as customer count Now let's run it Okay, what is this this missing? Order data. Okay, we should call order data as month. Yeah, it's accepted. Let's submit it. Yeah, all the test cases have been successfully accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me a lot and share it with your study buddy partner. Just be disciplined, complete all the videos which are there in my playlist. It will boost your career and try to give up, try to don't give up at all and try to keep practicing as much as possible. Good luck.